welcome. Today I am doing a video inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, Tom Benjamin. He recently did a video in which he went through his entire deck collection and decided which decks to move on and which decks to keep. And I have been feeling this year like I just, a little claustrophobic, I guess might be the right word. I have a collection, maybe 70 to 80 decks would be my guess. I'm not sure, it might be more, might be less. Um, and once upon a time, I felt great about that collection. I felt like I had plenty of variety. I felt like I had lots of options. Um, but this year, I've kind of just, yeah, started to feel, I don't know, a bit overwhelmed, a bit claustrophobic, I think would be the best feeling sensation in terms of how it feels in my body. And I loved Tom's video. I thought it was so fun and interesting. So I wanted to do one for myself. So I'm going to go through all of the decks that I have and decide here with you right now whether I'm keeping them or whether I'm moving them on. Now some of these would have been sent to me as gifts, some of them I would have traded with people, some of them you might recognize if you've sent them to me. Please don't take this personally at all, it's just sometimes I think as much as we value uh, gifts or things that we receive at a point in time, sometimes we just move on from them and I'm not someone who feels the need to hold on to everything. I think that we can have that sentimentality and appreciation without cluttering up our homes, <laughs> especially when, uh, you know, I live in a very small apartment. So I don't have a lot of space to carry around things with me that don't really serve a purpose anymore. So that's just a disclaimer. Please don't send hate ma mail. Please don't feel like personally attacked. This isn't a personal thing, except for me. And that is just that I have a lot of decks that I'm not using anymore. And I've always been pretty upfront about the fact that my collection is not a collection in the sense that I don't like to have stuff that I don't use or that doesn't serve a very specific purpose for me. And at the moment, there's a lot of that going on. So before we get started, I wanted to just give you a quick overview of what's going on with my decks at the moment. They're a bit of a mess. Um, and there's a lot of them. Uh, then I also have kind of the bigger boxes up over here and then I think I have a few other ones just kind of chilling around the place so we have quite a bit to go through. So now that you've kind of seen what we're dealing with let's just get stuck right in. I don't know should I just go top to bottom? Should I just work through one by one or should I pull out the ones that I just know aren't for me? Let's just go top to bottom because otherwise it seems too stressful. Okay I'm gonna pull off I'm gonna pull off pretty much everything and then we can the liminal tarot oh gosh Oh, I picked the hardest one to start with. I adore this deck. It's so special to me. But I don't really use it anymore. Oh, I start off with a hard one. This one's going in my uncertain box, okay? I'm allowing myself that for a little while. Um, right now, I'm not sure. Okay, uncertain pile. Next one's a pretty easy one. This is the Dark Days Tarot. Heads up, a lot of my decks are indie, some of them are out of print, it's just how it is. Uh, the Dark Days Tarot, a definite favourite of mine, keeping. The Efflorescent Tarot, this is the coloured edition too. Mm, another deck I really like. Oh gosh. Oh, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. I love this deck and I do quite like the readings with it, that I do with it but I just don't use it often enough. I feel like this might be one that's ready to find a new home. Okay, new home. The Little Monsters Tarot, this, I do have the book for it too. Um, this is by the same creator as the Efflorescent. And the funny thing is, I really love this deck. I love the look of it. It reminds me of Studio Ghibli and some of the characters in those movies, which I love. And I actually love the book. I feel like I use the book more than I use the deck. Oh, I do. Oh, I just got lipstick all over the book. That's a good. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh. oh, let me have a look. Oh, it's so cute. I mean, look at it. I have done some interesting readings with this deck. Mm. 
I feel like this one, I'm going to put this one in my uncertain pile. Oh. Okay, next up we have an easy choice, Taramukha, Mukha, however you pronounce it. Um, I really love this deck. This is an absolute go-to for me, actually. Surprisingly, I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting that when I got it, but I love this deck, so it's a keeper. Then we have oh, the Aboriginal Spirit Oracle. I love this deck. This was my first Oracle deck, not this exact copy. I moved that one on and I'm a bit upset with myself. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't use it a lot, but it's pretty special. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, where are we now? Ooh, the Fountain Tarot. This is an oldie, for, uh, oldie but a goodie for me. And I think even though I don't always use it as much as I used to, I do still go to it sometimes. So this is a keeper. Oh, the Hezekos Tarot. Oh, this is one of my old favorite decks. This was like a top five deck for me for a long, long time. Oh gosh. This is so hard because I really do want to move on a good chunk of my collection, which means letting go of things that really meant a lot to me one time. Oh. I think this is going to be one that I'm, look at that, that's so cool. I don't want this to turn into like a full show and tell or we'll be here for too long. See, my problem with this is that basically, as horrible as it sounds, the Little Monsters Tower or the Mons Tower, which is different to the one we've already looked at, um, it kind of replaced this for me in a way, which sounds awful. But I... When I got the Little Monsters Tarot, I basically stopped working with this. And this has been on my I'm not sure list for a long time. I'm going to put it in my not sure list for now. We'll go over that at the end of the video, um, depending on how many I actually managed to get rid of. Um, so yeah, not sure right now, but we'll see. Okay, then we have good old DVs. Angel reading card, tarot cards. I got this from Savers. I think this is, I'm ready to let go of this. I don't, I'm not obsessed with this deck. I don't really use it. I do like it every now and then, but not enough to keep it, I don't think. Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland. This, I don't know. I liked it once upon a time but I don't really use it anymore. I really don't like the artwork, but I did always get good readings with it, but I don't know. I think I'm ready to let go of this one too. We've got the Goddess Guidance Oracle. I think I actually have a couple of copies of this. Maybe not anymore. Yes, I do. I have a sealed copy. Because I was sending these cards out as part of reading, so I don't think this is the whole deck, if I'm honest. And those readings were fun, but I don't do them anymore. So this is only half a deck, well, more than half a deck, but it's not a whole deck. So I think this one will have to go to Savers. Oh, then I have the Kitty Kahane Tarot. This is a deck I had a long time ago. And I think I traded it because I had a really good opportunity to get something I didn't think I'd be able to get otherwise. But then I got it back again and I haven't really used it and that's because it kind of came at a time when I wasn't using a lot of Takaro, and I haven't been. But I'm not ready to let go of that one yet. Um, so I'm going to keep this one. This isn't actually an Oracle deck, um, but I'm keeping these. They're cards, but not Oracle. They're something else. Okay, this shelf is pretty easy. Saltwater reading cards, 100% keeping. Wildflower Oracle cards by Cheryl and Darcy, keeping. Um, what have we got here? Oh, Flowers of Love, a gift from my mum, keeping. <laughs> this shelf's pretty easy. Do I even have to say? Keeping. And then, oh, this one. This one I traded with one of you. Thank you. I'm not obsessed with it yet. Um, I'm still kind of trialing out how I work with this deck, and I'm not sure if it'll be something I keep long term. But I'm having fun with it for now, so it's a keeper. 
for now. Ooh, the World Spirit Tarot. I used to use this deck a lot, but I haven't used it much lately. Um, this is the original Llewellyn, and I, oh, I did really love it. Okay, this is my, this is going in my not sure pile um, that we will go through at the end of the video. So hopefully we'll be able to kind of have assess what I've kept and maybe what decks in the unsure pile might still have a place. Do you know what I mean? So unsure for now. The Urban Tarot. Oh, this is such a beautiful deck. Like this artwork is incredible. But I think it's the Thoth system. Something about Thoth just rubs me the wrong way. And I thought that this would be separate enough from it that it wouldn't, I don't know. Mm, I'm not sure. I do have the book for this one too. I traded this with my good friend Annika. Um, oh, it's a beautiful book too. I'm not sure. Uncertain for now. Okay, the Lunar Soul. I actually have two copies of this because one came damaged. Um, so I'm keeping my, um, the one I've been using, this one's still sealed. So that will go. I don't need two copies of it, but I do love this deck. Video, Idiosyncra deck. This was sent to me by Tracy and I love this deck. 100% keeping. That's an easy choice. Um, the Amethyst Oracle, which is kind of the companion oracle. I like this less, but... I'm still playing around with it, so I'm going to keep this one for now too. The Fantastic Menagerie Tarot, that's an easy choice, love it. And the Victorian Romantic Oracle, this was very special and also keeping. Oh, the La Oracle de Mirrors, I can't, I can't say it, I can't say it. Um, I don't use this at all, but it is one of the few decks that I'm okay with having because mum bought me this and when she was in France. So that's pretty cool. Okay, well, we've cleared out four shelves. So we're not doing too bad. Oh, the Wisdom Keepers Oracle. I really loved this deck and I used it like every day for a while. I think Tom said the exact same thing. Um, have the, it comes with like a regular book, but then I also got given the um, larger guidebook because I was sent this for review. And I did, I adored this. I absolutely adored it. And I still think it's brilliant. I just don't use it anymore. And I wonder if that's because it was such an intense experience that I feel like I've kind of got what I wanted from it. But I just don't, like I haven't used this in a long time. So I think as much as I love it, I think it's ready to go. Little Monsters or the Monstaro, that's an easy one, keeping. Next world, another easy one, definitely keeping. The Awakened Soul Oracle. Ethany actually sent me this and it often stays with my mum. So if I'm not keeping it, mum certainly is. One of us always has it. Textured Tarot, that's an easy choice, keeping. The Elements of Recovery Oracle, keeping for sure. The, these are like the little Lenormand cards I have. I suppose it's good to have a deck of Lenormand in case I ever decide to learn it, but I don't really have an interest in it, hey. I think, I think I'll just move it on. Oh, these are from Danny Lang. These are really fun, I'm keeping these. The Naked Heart Tarot. This is a beautiful deck and Jillian sent me this, which was very kind of her. Um, and I've played around with it a little bit and it's beautiful. It's lovely, but I just, I don't find myself reaching for it. And I think largely cause it just doesn't, I don't think I speak its language. <laughs> like I can read with it fine, but it just, I don't know. I always, I just don't tend to go to it. So I think I am ready to part with this one. Although it's gorgeous and I do really like it. It just doesn't. I don't think it's for me, basically. 
Sasserai Bido. This one's an easy choice, keeping for sure. Oh, the Art of Kundalini. This was another gift from Mum. Um, and I don't really use it a lot. But every now and then, like, these images are just really pretty. So I think I'm going to keep this one for now. Do I have to say anything? That's a keeper. Spiral Tarot. This is another one that I used a lot and that I really got a lot out of. But I just don't use it anymore. I think I'm ready to say goodbye to this one. As much as I have a really soft place in my heart for it, I just don't. I just don't use it anymore. Ah, my purple box Rider Waite Smith. This is my favourite copy of the Rider Waite Smith, so keeping for sure. African Tarot. <laughs> this was another gift from Mum. It's a really cute little Rider Waite Smith kind of knockoff. Really cute, but I just feel like I have enough Rider Waite Smith decks. And I'm already keeping a lot of ones that mum's got me. And she's like, when she gives them to me, she's like, keep it, don't keep it, that's fine. I just thought it was fun to get you something. <laughs> so thanks mum. But I think, I think I'm ready to send this one off to a new home. Tower of the White Cats, same box. Uh, mum got this for me and it's really cute and funny and silly, but I don't know, not really for me. Minute Tower is not actually in here, it's in a... It's down lower, we'll find it later, but this is 100% keeping. I adore this deck. The Life Design cards, definitely keeping one of my favourite Oracle decks ever. I got another old copy of the Rider Waite Smith. I don't think this one's, cop I think this one does have copyright, but it's the nicer old card stock from memory. Yeah, um, I don't really feel the need to keep this. Like, it's not a collectible at any... I don't really have many collectible Rider Waite Smiths left anyway. And I still prefer my purple box. So I'm going to... This one will probably go to Savers. <laughs> the ACT deck or the ACT deck, which is Acceptance Commitment Therapy. This was recommended to me via um, Imogen. I think Imogen Walters has this deck. Um, anyway, really cool. Not really an Oracle deck, but really cool and I like it a lot. So keeping that. The Plant Ally and Tree Wisdom cards. Blair bought these for me for Christmas last year or the year before. So I really like these. I'm going to keep these. Now we're getting to the bags. So let's have a look. This is the Universal Tarot, I think. It's um, a Rider Waite Smith clone, basically, by Low Scarabeo. Um, it's my, basically my little travel deck. I really like having this one. This, I think, is my Centennial. It is, yes. Ah, uh, so I'll keep this one. The Centennial's a good one. Ooh, what's in here? I forget. Is this my Anna Kay? It is my Anna Kay. Um, I love the Anna Kay. I don't use it as much as I used to. I think it's still worth keeping, though, because especially for my therapeutic tarot stuff, I do find that this is a great deck for that. So keeping my Anna Kay. Oh, what's this one? Oh, it's the Clover Tarot. I haven't used this one much. The colours are all really pretty. This is a pretty special deck because it was a gift. Um, and I don't think I've spent enough time with it yet, so I think I'll hold on to this one for now. Oh, it feels like the last several we've kept, haven't we? So I'm not sure how well I'm doing. Oh, I still have a decent stack over there of decks we're getting rid of. I know what this one is. This is my Stella's Tarot. Definitely holding on to that. Oh, what's in here? It's probably a bad sign if I'm not sure. Oh, Tarot of the Crone. Yeah, I haven't used this in ages. It's really cool though. I have like the older edition with the, um, I think they have black backs now. I prefer this backing. I think it's great. And they have white borders. I think they don't have borders anymore or something. It's a really cool deck. I like it a lot. But I always like intend to use it more and then just don't. I had a lot of fun with it. Well, it wasn't fun. It was actually quite intense, but I used it a lot for kind of like a strong period of time, but I just don't use it anymore. But every time I look at it, I'm like, I need to use this more. 
Um, this is going in my not sure pile. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, this is the minute tarot. We've already decided we're keeping that. Oh, my circo tarot. Uh, this is another one of those decks that I loved and used like non-stop. And I especially used this to read for other people when I was doing um, like public readings. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at it, it's so pretty. But I just, I, I haven't used it to read for myself in so long. Mm. Another one going in my not sure pile, I think. Oh, this hurts when it's decks that you loved and that you've used so much. Oh, these ones hurt. Okay, I'm not sure about this one for now. Okay, we've got two more decks. I think this is an Oracle deck, yeah. This is the Australian, Wisdom of the Australian Animals. It's another one I don't use a lot, but it's really cool, um, especially for me as an Australian. Um, I think I'm gonna, mm, not sure pile, not sure pile again. Do you have the book too? So we'll pop that down there. What's in here? Is this the fairies oracle? It is. <laughs> These Brian Froud's oracles, these have been on my list of I'm not sure for so long. And I love the idea of them, but just, I just don't use them. And I'm starting to wonder if that's because as much as I like these, I don't feel this type of energy in Australia. So it's just like, I want to connect to these and some of the cards I do, but for the most part, I don't. So I think it's time for me to let them go as much as I love them. And I love the idea of me working with them. I don't work with them and I've had them for a long time. I think it's time to say goodbye. Where's the, I don't have the, I don't have the box for this one anymore, but I do have the book. Oh, this is such a good book. No, I've been putting this one off for so long. It's time to say goodbye. Oh, I do have the old um, ugh, bag for the Urban Tarot. That's good to know. And then we have another Rider Waite Smith deck. Oh, this is the really garish, <laughs> really horrible yellow box. Um, I don't really see a need to keep this one, I don't think. Okay, those are all of the decks out of there. So now, we turn to the larger ones and the ones that are kind of out and all over the place. Let's see. Okay, the Guardian Angel cards. I do like these. I'm going to keep these. The Ophidia Rosa Tarot. These have been interesting for me. I actually kind of don't really like the deck. Like, that sounded mean. I don't really... It doesn't do a lot for me in terms of like readings, but in a more like connected to divinity, whatever that means, whatever I think that means at any given point, uh, these have been quite interesting. So I don't think I'm ready to let go of these just yet. Then we have the Connected and Free Oracle, which is an Oracle deck I had a long time ago and moved on and recently got again quite on a whim. I'm not sure if these are staying with me, but I'm having fun playing around with them for now. So they're staying for now. The El Goliath Tarot. This is one of the most beautiful decks I've seen in a long time. And Goliath sent this to me very generous, generously. And I've been having a play around with it. And uh, just for me, I, I didn't think it was a deck for me. And that's why I never bought it for myself. And then when he offered to send it to me, I was really keen to give it a go. And some cards really stand out as... Like, they move me. They really do. Um, but as a deck, I often don't really connect with animal decks. Um, and I think that's why I'm moving on from the Naked Heart Tarot. Um, as much as I love it and I want to connect to it, I don't know, animal decks just don't tend to be ones that I work with and that work for me. So it's been a really fun experiment and I'm really grateful to have had that opportunity. But I think... It's time for us to part ways. What else have we got? Got the Dreams of Gaia. <laughs> part of me is like, I don't use this anymore. But I mean, if you've seen that um, Diary of a Tarot Reader video I did a couple of years ago, you know that I can't let go of this deck. So it's staying. Oh, Goddess Ga the Goddess Oracle. I really like this deck, but I don't use it anymore. I don't really use Oracle decks much at all. 
I think I'm ready to let this one go. I didn't, I hadn't really thought of that. But to be perfectly honest, until I just pulled it off now, I kind of forgot that I had it. Which I think is a pretty good indication that I'm not using it, am I? <laughs> so I think, oh, that makes me sad, but I think I'm ready to let it go. I'll show you then. Ah. This is another deck I have not used in so long, but I love it. This is going in unsure. Oh, the guy in tarot. <laughs> I wanted the Llewellyn edition for so long and I finally managed to get it. Mm. <laughs> and I haven't used it. I got it around that time where I kind of stopped using cards very much at the end of last year. I don't think I'm ready to part with it yet though. I think I want to give myself an opportunity to play around with it. Heart of Fairy Oracle. <sighs> See, I know... I feel very similarly to this as I do with the Fairies Oracle. Um, but this one's out of print now, so I know that it's harder to get, so if I change my mind. <laughs> but I just... I love the idea of it, but I just don't think they're for me, which breaks my heart. I really want a deck that kind of sees fairies in this more fey world way rather than the Victorian or Edwardian or whatever they were, cutesy fairies. I do feel that energy, but I want something that's a bit more raw and earthy like this, but for the Australian landscape. That's what I'm craving because fairies are my jam. <laughs> the fey world is my jam, but this just isn't what I experience. It's close, but it's not quite right. So I think, oh, I'm still attached to that image of me connecting to these decks. But I've been attached for that to that for a long time and it hasn't happened. So I think this is a goodbye as well. Okay. Then we just have the large box set thing for the Centennial, which I'm keeping. We've already decided on that. Where does it go? God, there's such a big stack here. Okay. Then I have an unsealed copy of the Goddess Guidance, I think. Or an, yeah, an un, no, a sealed, a sealed copy of the Goddess Guidance. I think that's ready to go. Oh, I have the mini Rosetta. I have the book for this too. This is another thing where I really, I love this imagery, the colors and everything. And I, I just, I don't know. Something about the Thoth system that just makes me feel a bit, I don't know. No, I'm ready to say goodbye to this one. Ah, the magical spell cards. I'm ready to move these on too. got the box for the clover tarot oh and then we've got a few other books which we've decided to keep these ones okay oh nearly knocked everything over there it's a bit precarious over here I think that's everything let me just double check yeah okay we've gone through everything let's have a bit of a look at my getting rid of pile and then we can go through the uncertain pile so forgive the mess but this is the stack or the mound more like uh, that we've decided to move on, which I'll count in a moment, but is a pretty decent chunk. And now the other ones are on the floor. So forgive my floor, but this is our uncertain pile. So we're gonna go through that now. So we've got 20 decks in our getting rid of pile already. I think that's pretty good. Even though I felt like I was keeping a lot, which I am 20, 20 to get rid of straight off the bat. That's pretty good. Now we have, Actually, not too many in the uncertain pile, so let's go through those. I think the Urban Tarot, as much as I want to love this deck, it's just, it, I don't think it's going to happen. I think I'm going to have to say goodbye to this one. The Osho Zen, oh, this was one of my first tarot decks. I found it at Savers, look, still got there, eight bucks, <laughs> and it's really well worn. Oh. And it helped me learn tarot. But I think... I just haven't touched it in like two years nearly. I think it's time to say goodbye. Oh, I keep going to pick up more decks, but I'm still not sure about them. So I'm really nervous. I don't want to pick them up. The Wisdom of the Australian Animals. Oh, this is hard. This is a hard one. I do use this occasionally, but more when... 
we're planning on going on bushwalk or something but even then i tend to find that i want to use the wildflower reading cards more often oh it's just, it's so nice to have a deck with Australian animals, you know? Although, this fucker's in here. <laughs> Any of you know me, you know, oh, cassowaries can, oh, anyway. How about we draw a card? I'm going to draw a card and see what I think. <laughs> I asked... I asked um, what I should do with this deck. I got the turkey, the bush turkey, and the top word is giveaway. <laughs> this deck is telling me that it's ready to move it on, but I have so much resistance to it. I think, I mean, I asked it a question. You don't ask cars a question unless you're willing to listen to it, hey? So it has answered me. Time to move it on. Oh, that hurts. Okay, Tower of the Crone. Mmm. I really love the execution of this deck. Oh, this is so hard. I mean, like, look at this. This is one of my favorite, possibly my favorite Hierophants. Look at that. Oh, so good. I think I'm going to keep this one for now. Oh, the Circo Tarot. Oh, oh, this one hurts. <laughs> I love this deck. I think it's so beautiful. Her artwork's just incredible. And some of these, like, I just love some of these cards. <gasps> I've stacked them up a little high. That's okay, they didn't fall too far. They're on the desk. I think I'm going to keep this one. And then as I get to know the Kitty Kahane some more, and also just kind of move into the warmer seasons. Because I know I don't use this deck in the cooler seasons. So I think I'm going to revisit whether I'm going to keep this or the Kitty Kahane over the next six to eight months or so. So this one I'm not letting go of yet. The World Spirit. Ah, oh, I love this deck. I really do. And I used the shit out of it when I got it. And even like, you know, for a long time after that. But I just don't use it anymore. And it's such a special deck. I feel like if I can find the right home for it, I'm going to move it on. But I'm not in a rush to let go of it. Maybe that's the best way to put it. Oh, the little monsters. Oh, oh it's so freaking cute. I don't want to let go of this one yet. It's too, it's too adorable. I can't. Okay, then we have the Hezekos. Oh. I just, I loved this deck so much, but I just don't use it anymore. Maybe this should be another one I give another go in the summer, though. I'm not sure. No, you know what? I think, I really do feel like maybe our time is done. So, this is one I'm going to put in the ready-to-go pile. But I reserve my right to change my mind. So for now, it's going over there. Oh, and the liminal. Ugh. Honestly, I don't think I'm ready to let go of this one. I really don't. I feel like it might be one of those ones I'd regret. So I need to be 100% sure if I'm going to say goodbye to it. Okay, how did we go? I'm getting rid of 24 decks. That's pretty impressive. I think. <laughs> I hope. Okay, I'm gonna fit the wrecks back on my shelves and then we can see how they all go. And who knows, maybe going through them, I'll make some different decisions. Oh, wow. I kind of felt like I hadn't gotten rid of a lot, but... <laughs> They fit on that shelf very, very easily now. Let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so this is the final. Like, I haven't really had to stack up many decks except just there. Um, and then we've got the, excuse the boxes. Um, so, I mean, that looks 
almost like empty some of those shelves now um, but definitely a lot more manageable and then over here look hardly takes up any space it's crazy I think it's a big difference and over here are all of our goodbye decks which is a lot so I don't know how interesting this was to you but I feel like I've been quite productive with all of that there's still a few decks in there that I've kind of had to note down as decks that I'm going to reconsider in the future and really pay attention to how much um, I'm using them and kind of what purpose they serve in my collection but for now that's like a good 25 decks or something that I'm saying goodbye to that's that's a good chunk of my collection so I'm really quite proud of myself <laughs> I know it took a while but I think we achieved quite a bit so I hope you enjoyed doing this with me <laughs> thanks for hanging out so I guess I'll just be putting all of that up on the Australian buy sell swap group on Facebook because it is so much easier sending stuff within Australia um, but I suppose I'll tell you what my wish list is in case you want to trade um, these decks like the collective tower if you have the collective tower that you want to trade i will give you whatever you want <laughs> out of these decks um that's like the only deck that i'm kind of really after that's been hard to get also want the guided hand tower and the empty cup oracle but other than that i really um the point of this is to de like downsize downsize my collection rather than just replacing everything so I am really looking to sell most of these. Some of them might go to savers because the shipping might not be worth it. Um, so I'm going to put these up on the Facebook group and see how I go. Um, but thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for helping me do this. I feel like I would have procrastinated and then avoided this had I not be filming it. So this was great. And thank you, Tom Benjamin, for the idea. I think we did pretty well. But that is all from me for now. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I will see you in the next video. So much love. Bye.